Joined by Ministry of Education officials, the Caribbean Development Bank's team visited all three sites under the EQUIP project, approving of the works undertaken, especially in equipping the institutions to facilitate the use of modern modalities of instruction. The three schools include the Laguerre Primary School, which was rebuilt after being destroyed by Hurricane Thomas in 2010, while both the Vidbutai Primary and the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist, each receiving new wings, all funded by the Caribbean Development Bank. Social Sector Division Chief of the CDB, Martin Batiste, says the CDB is heartened that the learning environment of the students of the three schools have been improved as a result of the project, enhancing the quality of education provided. Improving the infrastructure is a key part of making sure we have quality uh, teaching and learning taking place. Um, so we came, we, 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 we've seen the um, work that has been done and I, I, we know that the stakeholders, the principals and teachers are in fact uh, quite satisfied and we're glad that the ministry was able to um, provide those, these facilities um, in response to addressing some of the gaps that we have in delivering high quality education. The idea, Mr. Bedi says, is for schools not just in St. Lucia but the wider region to focus more on delivering 21st century education to a generation that has experienced more technological advancement than any generation before it. A lot has to do with not only improving the facilities, but also seeing how we can organize instruction so that it become more child-centered and you can look at uh, providing the environment where every child is given the opportunity to maximize his or her potential. So along with the facilities would come training and resources and one of the areas that we are promoting across the region is about learning enhancement. Uh, how do we make sure that within the classroom there is differentiated instruction so that every child is able to have his or her learning needs met while the teacher organizes instruction with a group of students which, which he, he or she may have. Construction at the three sites commenced in June of 2021 at a total cost of 24 million East Caribbean dollars. Despite minimal delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and other factors, project coordinator of EQUIP, Marie Grace Ogis, is of the view that the project has turned out well, with just a few remedial issues being dealt with. They are entering a phase called the defects liability period where we address all the issues that are cropping up as the teachers and the principal and the students um, occupy those built buildings. I think it's gone very well um, and I think um, with a little vigilance we can get the um, contractors that um, still have some outstanding work to do on Vidbute and Laguerre, we can get that particular contractor to complete his, um, his schedule of work. CDB officials also visited the site of the former George Charles Secondary, which government announced will become a new facility for the rehabilitation of troubled juvenile males, particularly those housed at the Boys Training Center in Groselet. We fully support the initiative. We were glad to sit with the Minister and the Permanent Secretary to recognize both the immediate, medium-term and long-term needs. And of course, the bank is here to support the Ministry and the government in, in achieve, achieving those goals. Government is currently in the throes of sourcing funding that will be used to engage in construction work to transform the current building located in cul-de-sac to a juvenile center. Only a few weeks ago, Honorable Joachim Henry, Minister for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, recently visited the Grand Bacalet Juvenile Rehabilitation and Treatment Center in Grenada, which has implemented a comparable program that is regarded as the region's finest of its kind. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.